I know it's been four weeks, three weeks, and I haven't given any update. How disappointed everybody is in that. I just can imagine. Um, so whether you like it or not, I'm giving an update now. Um, I am working on this uh, on this broom. I was using it, and um, what happens is is you get long uh, pieces of straw or you know, string or who knows what, just long weedy things, right? They get tangled up right inside the, um, you know, right, right on the, uh, the shaft next to the, uh, the bearing. And I have it sort of pressed on. I don't have it, you know, on the way I should have it on. I mean, it's been fine. Um, just with it pressed on and the way that the steel sort of holds it in. Uh, but I need to actually now put a uh, pin or something in on the shaft there. So I'm just going to do a little surgery so that um, when I put the bearing on and the shaft sticks out the back, I'll have a pin that keeps it on. That way when stuff gets wound around there and sort of pushes out on this steel piece, it's not going to uh, dismount the whole shaft from the aperture there. So that's what I'm doing. All right, so here's the deal. I tried using a vise and getting that thing out of there, the bearing out of the, the housing so that I could uh, drill a hole through there, right in there, and then drill a hole through the shaft. So I could put a pin down in there. And I, I don't have a press, so I wasn't able to get this thing out of there. Um, you know, and I was kind of thinking, well, I'm gonna end up ruining the, the ability for me to put this thing back into this thing into the housing so the bearing back into the housing so um what i've decided to do is the thing that i know that you're not supposed to do which is i'm just going to weld it right here so that this bearing is on there permanently you know and i'll do it carefully so that i don't uh, uh you know get everything so hot inside there that it you know freezes and expands and um you know so i'll do it very carefully slowly just put a little bead all right here is what is wrong with this thing with this broom so when i bring it down to touch the ground and drive forward uh if the front goes down a dip or something it lifts the back end up and it doesn't touch anymore right so you know going up and down hills this thing goes up and down as well so sometimes it has excess pressure on it and sometimes it's not even touching the ground so what I end up doing is uh, is constantly adjusting the height of it as I drive along which is kind of a pain in the rear and so the uh, thing that I want to do uh, is put on uh, you know, something coming down, some sort of a wheel, an adjustable wheel on either side here. That will, you know, so the wheel will go up and down as I drive forward. That's what I want to do. The other option is for me to just sort of uh, redo the way this is designed and sort of, uh, you know, see how this thing is coming straight up so that there's force going straight down. Another option would be for me to tilt the way that it's coming out off of the three-point hitch. And uh, I think that way it would have a little bit more flexibility. I might be able to design it so that, you know, it has a little play up in the, uh, how it attaches to the three-point hitch. 
So, but in any case, let me uh, get you set up and I'll show you me sweeping something just for the heck of it. that brush so that it sweeps stuff off to the side. 